this is a very important time to spread your light and uplift and empower others. Your confidence and message is more important than ever, ever before. This is a critical time in the world. And I want to invite you to be a beacon of light. Okay. Your people need you. The world needs you. And the world needs leaders to step up right now. When people are afraid, they're seeking confidence and clarity from their leaders. They need hope and light through the darkness. I invite you to be the light that they are seeking. Your people are looking for you. Your people are looking for the message that you have for them, okay? I personally primarily work with women entrepreneurs because we have this big, huge message and we can create the biggest ripple effect all together when we all share our message and confidence. But anyone can share their message and light with the world. Whether you own a business, whether you don't own a business, you can support your friends, your families, your Facebook friends. You can share your message in your way. So I want you to ask yourself, how can I share my light with the world? How can I share my light? Let me know in the comments. I asked this question in the group, this Be The Light group, the other day, and I've got so many comments. You guys had so many awesome ideas of how you're sharing your light right now. I also want you to think about what message can I share with others right now? What message do you have to share? Is it a message of love, of light? What is your message? This time in history is an opportunity for you to serve and to grow personally and in your business. Leaders are actually born in times of crisis. So if you're here tonight, my guess is that you wanna make a big impact in some way during this time in history. So if you're here to make an impact, let me know in the comments. Comment impact if you're here to make an impact. And I want to invite you to believe that this time in history is an opportunity for your own growth and to help support others more powerfully through this time and beyond. This is an opportunity for us to grow as humans, to grow as communities and in the world. And for some of you, well, for all, all of us probably, we, we're pivoting right now. We need to change a little bit. We need to shift a little bit, right? Some of you aren't going to work every day and you're having to do a lot of things on Zoom. Um, I, had, I had to pivot as well. I do a lot of work online. But I had to pivot just a little bit. I had to ask myself a few days ago, how do I support more people right now? How can I be a bigger light in the world? And so on Saturday, I had, well, I had this download of start a Facebook group, be the light, it's called. And I started it Saturday afternoon. And by the end of the day, I had a hundred members and it's grown by over a hundred members every single day since then. I have over 560 members and today is only Thursday. It's been five days. <laughs> so because I took that inspired action and I said, where can I serve the most right now? How can I serve the most? How can I be more light in the world? How can I share my message more? I took quick inspired action and all of you in this group are sharing and commenting and being inspired and being uplifted, right? Because I had a moment of a quick download that I got to do this and I ran with it. And I see this group growing to a thousand people by the end of the week. 
by the end of Sunday, I would love to have a thousand people in this group. So if you haven't shared the group yet, please share, please share the video, please share the post, invite your friends. You're absolutely welcome to post in the group and invite your friends. But if you wanna make a bigger difference, you have to be willing to get outside of your comfort zone. The more you stretch and grow and get past your fears and get past your limiting beliefs, the more your comfort zone is going to stretch and the easier those things are going to get, the less fears you're going to have, the less limiting beliefs you're going to have. My friend Lee Smith said to me one day, outside my comfort is my zone. That's her mantra. And I adopted it from her. I, I said, I'm, I'm adopting that, <laughs> that mantra because I used to be very, very shy, but I always had this fire in my belly, this knowing that I was put on the planet to make a difference. And so I've spent the last 12 years purposely building my confidence, purposely stretching my comfort zone, purposely taking big leaps in order to grow my confidence so that I could impact more people. And if I can do it, you can do it too. Because I used to be very, very, very shy. And now I run retreats and events and I speak and I have this group and I'm doing all these things because I've gotten outside my comfort zone, because I've been able to believe in myself enough to put myself out there and continually put myself out there through the failures, the setbacks, the, all of the things that come up as business owners, right? <clears throat> so you might need to build your own confidence in order to be able to share your message at this time. You might have limiting beliefs that you don't have enough value to share or that nobody wants to hear your message, or you might have fears of being seen and heard, but you have a message on your heart that you want to share. So it's time for you to dig deep, to build that confidence, to uncover those blocks and those fears, to build that confidence and the belief in yourself and your message. And sometimes you gotta lean on somebody else's belief in you first while you're building up your own belief in yourself. I've had to do that a lot of times throughout this journey. And I will continue to have to do that. As I grow and as you grow, you're gonna have to do that too. But ask for support. Lean on someone else's belief in you, your friends, your families, your mentors. Okay. I've leaned on Jake and Maggie both a lot over the years um, while I'm building because I've had moments, right, where I need a little extra support. And that's okay. So build that confidence. Get those blocks and those things that are in your way. Let's break through those together so that you can share your message and your light and your love in a bigger way. And I guarantee you, you have so much value to bring. You have an important message that so many people need to hear from you right now, okay? So I wanna ask you, have you ever seen someone who's not confident and is sharing their message and making a big impact? Probably not. Your confidence is critical if you want to make a big impact in the world. So if you feel like you need more confidence, I want you to ask yourself, journal it out after we get off of this call, ask yourself, how would I act if I felt more confident and more bold? I'll say that again, ask yourself, how would I act if I felt more confident and more bold? The next thing is to let your passions inspire you. What lights you up? What or who inspires you in your life? Maybe it's a person. Maybe, maybe it's um, a set of people. Maybe it's your family. Personally, I'm super passionate about supporting women to let go of that mind trash and that chatter that holds them back, that keeps them playing small that keeps them in their fears and to help them to be more confident and to believe in themselves more and to stand in their power and really to reach for more than they've ever thought possible. So a couple more questions to ask yourself, what are you passionate about? What are you passionate about? And what do you dream of? What are you dreaming of? And how can you turn those passions and dreams into something to help others right now. So 
So like I said, I, I was having some questions about how I could help more people, right? I posed the question to the universe and I said, universe, what can I do to help more people? And I knew I wanted to do some sort of speaker hour and I got the download. It should be called Be The Light. It should be a group. We're gonna have a weekly speaker thing, right? And it's, it's growing super quickly because I trusted and I asked and I stepped out in confidence through a little fear, but I stepped out in confidence and I said, we're doing this. So if you're struggling with not knowing how to help people or knowing what lights you up or knowing what inspires you, <clears throat> um, ask yourself these questions, okay? And those will help you to figure out how to help more people and what you wanna do. What's the next step for you? So what's really, really been on my heart the past week has been able to support as many people as possible with the work that I do. And I wanted to offer you tonight to support you to release your limits that you've placed on yourself to shining your light and making your impact. I decided that I wanted to gift you a no strings attached be the light confidence call with me because this is gonna support you in gaining clarity and discovering the things that are in your way, those blocks that are in your way, the limiting beliefs. We come up with all of these ideas and beliefs that just aren't true. And I can help you break through those very quickly so you can reach and inspire more people, okay? So this is a time with me where you're gonna be able to break through those blocks, gain some tools to inspire you to take action. Okay, so if, if you would like to have a call with me, I would love to do that for you. And you'll get massive value. This is a $200 value, but I'm offering it to you as a gift during this time. Okay, I feel that it's my duty and obligation right now as a leader to step up even more and be a light right now for as many people as I can. So I will post in the comments when we're done about how to book that call with me. But I wanna support you to shine your light brighter, to support as many people as you can right now. And I wanna leave you with my favorite quote by Marianne Williamson, and it fits right now just perfectly. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, and fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God and your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine as children do. We were born to make manifest the glory of God that is within us. It's not just in some of us, it's in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. And as we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. <laughs>